Hello, it's Feedback Gaming. Welcome to my playthrough. Beginning of a new campaign. We're going to be playing in 1936, The Gathering of the Storm. And we are going to play as Germany. But we are going to play a democratic, pacifistic Germany. The plan is simply this. To try and prevent any wars from even happening and try and remain as neutral as possible. Let's see if we have any luck. Okay, so German Reich is what we're going to begin as. And we're going to select regular, Iron Man, and historical AI focus. So we're going to go for Demo Germany. Okay, first of all, I am not really focused on what divisions we go for. Divisions are divisions at the end of the day, so it doesn't matter. They're all going to be moved on to regular, normal infantry. We're going to get rid of all of the templates. Excellent. We'll assign all of these to a general and garrison some random territories. We'll try and do this as quickly as possible. Because I always think the starts of playthroughs are always super boring when people are just setting up like this. But this is what I always do when I first start. I always um, put all my airplanes into the pool. I gather up all my navy. Three fleets. And I think that's it for now. First of all, always best to start on working on industry. Construction is always needed. Electronics for the extra research push. The earlier you get those techs, the better they benefit you in the long run. Now, the question is this. What doctrine should we go for? Now, mobility warfare is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It is really good. But I'll be honest with you. It might not follow what we're going to be going for. Mass assault is definitely a no-no. Um, grand battle plan looks appealing and superior firepower also looks really good. I'll be honest with you, I'm actually struck between the three of them. So what should we go for? Okay. The one that does jump out me most is grand battle plan. Just for the extra battle plan bonuses. Mobility is really good, but if we're going to fight a long drawn out war, Grand Battle Plan is the way forward. Yet again, we're going to avoid any instances where we might get ourselves into war, so we'll avoid it at all costs. We are going to try and play this defensive, so fighter planes is what we need. Bombers is definitely what we don't need. Submarines is always cool to have, so let's have a few of those. Add these to our main army. And we've got a cruiser almost finished, so you know what, we'll just finish that first now I think about it. That'll be completed in just under a, under a month. Brilliant. Okay, we have got a few tanks. A few trucks. We will need those. I always love supply equipment. We are always going to need them. And artillery is going to be our main focus. Our divisions are going to be solely based around artillery. Okay, oil, rubber. Um, you know what I think about it? Rubber is definitely what we're going to need. I'm going to pull that from the United Kingdom. And here we go. I think, are we ready to start the game yet? No, not quite. Actually, now I think about it, we probably want to train a bunch of divisions. We'll go for 16. Base them in Hanover. Not worry about that for now. We need to f make a focus. So, as much as we're going to play pacifistic, that doesn't mean initially we can't expand a little bit, increase our industrial base, and make ourselves a power. We may... Uh, we may use the pen over the fist. That doesn't mean that we don't have a really, really big pen. Let's go for the Rhineland. Awesome. Okay, we should also be building some refineries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, eight should be good enough. We will need more as time goes on, but for now that should do fine. Um, maybe two more. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. 
Okay, resources, oil. Now, the oil is mainly going to be used for... Hmm, okay. I feel like I want to prioritize the trucks over the tanks. Yeah, that's definitely going to be needed, that. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that for the time being. We will migrate more into tanks, but for the time being, we want to focus on infantry. And we want to focus on building up our technology as well. Yet again, we're going to play as defensive as possible. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so our biggest foes in this are going to be the Soviet Union. And also... Actually, what just happened there? I just didn't even look at that. Okay, that's going to boost fascism. I'm not even sure if I want to do that. Do I want to boost fascism? No, no. Because we're going to go democratic, so... We're going to need to be democratic to begin with before we can start influencing others. We should probably set a general for this guy, shouldn't we? Who should we go for? Gutha von Kludge. Mr. Kludge, you are aboard the team. So this is going to be our main, main infantry force. Now, this is kind of how I play the game. I like to have a main infantry force as the main kind of push to cover, like, a large area of the map. And then I like to have, like, secondary 24 stacks on generals that are used to push as, like, a spearhead in different directions. And I find out that works best for me, plus some other, other, other forces used for military police and whatnot. But we'll go into that later anyway. Okay. Insufficient resources. Oil. Yet again, don't care too much about that. We're waiting for our first political points. That's what we want the most. Because what we are going to do is we are going to militarization of the Rhineland. Okay, now we have an option. Now we can befriend China or befriend Japan. It doesn't really matter, to be brutally honest with you. Okay, I'm just really curious, you know. What alignment is China? China is completely non-aligned. I'm really tempted to try and help out China, you know. Because in the end of the day, we're going to be in a bit war with Japan because they're fascists. So I think helping out and befriending China is the way forward. So what does this actually do? So it gains democratic focus. Ah, right. Okay, so it just boosts. It just boosts opinion. Hmm, okay. Now, I did play this before and I wasn't quite sure where we get the ability to send volunteers. I wasn't sure what it was. Let's have a look. Because from the start of the game, Germany can't send volunteers. And I'm kind of curious which tech they need to go for to give them that ability. Because how do they get involved in the uh, Spanish Civil War otherwise? Mm, I'm not sure. Anyway, so we could go for um, Befriend China. I don't want to do that, though. I want to kind of go for this one. The Reich Stoppan, Schuppenbahn. Stuttenborn? That's the best pronunciation you're going to get. Since its inception in 1933, the Autobahn project has been a glorious success. <clears throat> the construction efforts have reduced the employment and a wide road stand as a monument to German's e economic recovery. Much work remains to be done. I only really want this to get the extra civilian factories. Civilian factories are so awesome. So, so good. Okay, we have no template for motorized, but we are making them. That is... That may seem foolish at first, but we are going to be making so many motorized later in the game. So, the more we make of these right now, the better. Ethiopia. Roop. Goodbye, Ethiopia. Nice knowing you. Okay. Um, so, the plan is going to be this. We're going to help out China. We're going to be good buddies with China. But we can't do that until we go democratic. Okay, we have political power now. I just realized we gained like a big handful of political power from uh, remilitarizing the Rhineland. So we can take advantage of that now by going for a democratic reformer. Mr. Kurt Strumacher. Strumacher? Is it Strumacher? Kurt Strumacher. Okay, now I have to be honest with you. I don't even know what these two, how they're different. So this increases the chances of internal support for arranging elections. And this has increased the chances of voicing support from democracy and forming an opposition. I mean, maybe this is a coup. And maybe this is some kind of democratic referendum. I'm not sure. We'll go for this one. Let's go for as pacifistic as possible. And secondly, we only want to go for someone who gives us more political power. Because political power is what we're going to need in this. Rudolf Hess and Martin Bormann. 
Mr. Boardman, come board. Electronic engineering. Electronic mechanical engineering. And we're going to go for mechanical engineering next to get some more research time. Yet again, as I said before, the earlier you get these, you get these research bonus boosts, the more long-term benefit you get. I mean, 5% is not a lot to begin with, but imagine how much that adds up over time. 5%, that's going to add up to months upon months of research if you get those super early and they affect every other search that you get. So win, 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 win. Win. Artillery pieces and engineering. And we've got nice fat stacks. We want to produce as much infantry as we can because we want to go for... We want to go for Auschluss. Auschluss? Yet again, my pronunciation, not very good. Westfall is going to be next. It's going to increase some construction. Something we will never, ever use, but we need it to get onto our next industry research. Uh, what was I saying just a moment ago? I know, it doesn't matter. Uh, concentrated in industry. Yeah, so we definitely need... That's what I was saying. I, we want to go for Auschluss. Auschluss. Auschluss? Okay, I'm be honest with you. That pronunciation was proper bad. 550k manpower. How much do we have right now? We have... We have 345. We have got a, quite a lot to go. We are working exceptionally hard, producing as many extra infantry we can. Regular infantry is going to do great. Do you know what? I think some of you will focus too heavily on going for specialized divisions such as Marines, Power Droopers, uh, Mountain Divisions, and Tank Divisions, and try and comp making things really complex. More complex than they need to be. When the truth is just make lots of infantry. When in doubt, make infantry. Infantry are good. Okay, we're going to go into one for that. Um, we are producing quite a lot of planes. We need that many planes? Okay, change of government, democratic, 10%, and we lose two, we lose two national unity. Two from 90, that's barely, we don't even notice the difference. Okay, now we also need to go for more political power. So our political power biggest size, 2.6 a day. That is awesome. I don't think there's anything else I can get that improves my political power gain. I am always tempted to go free trade just for the extra factory output, construction speed, and research, but you lose 80% of your resources. That's just so big, isn't it? Okay, Westfall has been done. Industrial effort is next. So while this is the game's, while the days are passing by, we're going to have a little look to see what we're going to go for. I mean, industry is nice. Go for the extra research speed. I always like that one. That's a, That always pays off the short term if you get it nice and early. Okay, um... Uh, now, research is where we're going to go with this. Where are we searching again? What did we decide on? We went for trench warfare. We went for grand battle plan. So, the theorist we're going to select is probably going to be this gentleman. Heinz Gudrian. Heinz Gudrian. Um, gives extra experience, land doctrine, and max armor speed. Let's do that. Okay, we are slowly moving towards democracy now. Do we have the ability to influence towards democracy? No, we don't. We have to be democracy to influence democracy. So this is going to be the plan for the time being. I don't know how this as well as this is going to work, but it's worth a try. So we're going to influence the Soviet Union to go towards democracy. And we're going to influence Japan, because they're going to be our two biggest, two biggest competitors. And then China also might be a good idea to, to be a part of as well. They, they might be a good idea on our team as well. The nationalist Spain has declared war on Spain. Now, in this war, I don't even want to be involved because it's the communists versus the fascists. Neither of them are democratic. This guy, this is a little bit democratic. A little bit, but not enough that I actually want to support them. So I'm just going to let this war pan out and let the, uh, let the winner win. Let's have a look at what stats they've got. Oh, no, but, but. Where are we going? Details. No, they've got no national spirit. Okay. So what I need to be concerned about is that a lot of the fascist nations have a national spirit that reduces their ability to be influenced towards other government types. There you go. Look. Uh, there you go. D d ideological drift. 50%. What have they got? Ideological drift. No. There's not one in Italy. Industrial effort. Three. Okay, um, and then Japan. I think they've got some kind of drift resistance as well. No, they've not. Okay, so we're going to have a lot more joy drift in Italy and Japan over the Soviet Union. But 
Oh, the Soviet Union is just... It's so big and so powerful. If we're going to avoid any situations where we're going to get into war, we need to... We need to subdue the big beast of the Soviet Union, the big Russian bear. Okay, max planning plus 30%, which is always nice, because 30% equals 30% more attack damage for a relatively short amount of time, but 30% extra attack damage just for one attack is just totally worth it. Okay, 11 oil is what we're using right now. Do we need as much rubber? No. Do we need as much tungsten? No. Minimizing... Okay, industrial research is something you use all the way through the game. And you always need it. You always need it every single time. So I think it might be a good idea to go for that now. High guard. Now, this, this row here only seems to really need to be filled out as you progress more in the games. Now, as time goes on, you will, st to, you will need to put um, some military staff into these categories. But they only seem to really be applicable when the actual war kicks off because they're all bonuses to your armies as such. So this row can be... For the most part, ignored for the first three or four years of the game. Now, these these are the main ones, I think. And then you kind of migrate more into these ones. That's how I play the game, anyway. It always feels to me research benefits you early in the game, and then you don't seem to take as much advantage of it. Tanks are always nice, and we're probably going to invest in tanks. Air Force is always nice, because we're going to invest in more fighters. Industry. I always like to go for the small arm bonus. That's always nice, too. Uh, I think what we're going to go for is the industry research time. Let me have a little look. These are the electronics. Mm, yeah, we're going to go for industry. Now, hang on a second. Is industry this whole tab? Yeah, it is. It's the whole tab. Okay, okay. Industry, and we're going to go for industry research. Uh, do you know what? They're both equally as good. Engineering's cool, and so is engineering, but I don't know. It's just it's your preference, really, isn't it? Industry, engineering. Okay, so these are electronics. Oh, so now you think about it, because these are all, all industry. Is there any way that gives me any kind of indication? Okay, so that shows the 10% reduction, doesn't it? What about this one? 10% reduction. 10% reduction. So it does literally benefit every single one of these. In comparison, where it would only benefit... Where it would only benefit... This column. Because these are atomic research. So, you always win then. Okay, alright, well we've learned a lesson, boys. It looks like industry research reduction time is better than electronics. Because there are more industry research to go through. Okay, there you go, we learned something new anyway. 10%, it doesn't sound a lot, but that's going to add up in the game. That is so going to add up over time. Okay, we're making more submarines. I think we can make unlimited amount of those, you know. Uh, can we get rid of the... Let's get rid of these destroyers. How much are they being reduced by? They're being reduced by 45. They're being reduced by 3%. I can live with the 3%. I can live with that. Now, we are overproducing on supply equipment, but supply equipment can become so useful late in the game. So I always like to... There are a few things. This is something I learned a little bit earlier uh, from a few of my other playthroughs. But there's some equipment that you use at the start of the game that you just equally need in the later in the game as well. So it doesn't make any difference if you get them loads of them now or you get a lot of them later. So the supply equipment's one of them. Motorize is another one of them. And they're the ones that don't get upgraded. You could argue that motorize gets upgraded to mechanized, but you do use quite a lot of motorized for a lot of the support brigades. These guys. These ones at the bottom, all these ones at the bottom get you some motorized trucks. So, I don't know. You can't really overproduce those at the start of the game. Okay, call for public elections. This will... Okay, grants national democratic opposition, voicing protest, grants political power gain, minus 50%. Daily democratic support, plus 0, 0, 5 If reforming is happening, we must show our strength by suppressing the defiance. No, we are not going to suppress. We're going to go for more democracy, boys. Does Germany have some kind of resistance towards going towards another ideology? Yeah, it does. It does. Bitter Loser is exactly the same as the one that the Soviet Union's got, which is called... Um, it's called Home of the Revolution, which their version is not as good as ours because it loses some construction speed. Okay, mechanical computing's completed. We're 936. Oh, we always need radio. Radio is so good. 
An extra bit of reinforced speed is always nice. Okay, the industry research is complete. We can't do Auschwitz yet. So, army innovations is next. This gives times two bonus to research bonus for land doctrines, which is good. The plan, as you probably already gathered, is to work down to the extra research slot. The earlier you get, oh, I feel like I say this every time, but the earlier you get the research slots, the earlier you get a long-term benefit. So the earlier the better. Win, win, win. Okay, we've got another modifier. What should we go for? We'll go for the small arms or we we'll go for the tanks. Tank research time, all 10%. That's good. One of them gives reliability and soft attack. One gives max speed and reliability. Speed, baby. It's all about the speed. Okay, we are getting really close now to becoming dem democratic. I want the revolution to happen now. Okay, 1937, concentrated industry. Cannot lose. Going for that. Cannot lose. Okay, resources again. We're still a little bit behind on oil, but we are working on it. If we, produ if we produce all of these, we'll be on top of our oil production. Mm. That's one of the big issues with Germany. You start off with a, a really weak navy. And you, from the get-go, you've got to start make. You've got to start dedicating some of your resources to making ships, and they just cost so much metal in aluminium, chromium, oil. It's just, it is pretty brutal. 1937. We are going to go for the improved machine tools. The extra five percent is just huge. Took me a while to actually figure this out, but the extra 5%, what does that equate to? The extra 5%, I'll show you in a second. A treaty with the USR gives us extra armor research. Okay, I've just realized something. How long is this going to take to complete? 70 days. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for that, but... Actually, let me have a read. So it says... Reduce penalty if 100% gives you a, a research bonus, if not ahead of time. Valid for one next research of these technologies. Oh, it only applies to only applies to this technology. It only applies to the Panzer Kampfer Wagon 3. So what I was trying to do then, cheat, was to try and research for Panzer Wagon 3 and then get it on to Panzer 4, but you can't do that. Ah, okay, never mind. I tried, I tried. I tried to cheat the system, and I failed. Okay, so let's look at how well we're doing on army composition. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. One of those. We'll complete the row again. Then we're going to make a new division. The division's going to be called... Big Tanks, baby. Oh, yeah. We're going to be elite. In fact, you know, this is actually pointless, to be fair. Because we need medium tanks. And we haven't got the template for it, so it's pointless. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, that, that's that been uh, be reconsidered. Okay, infantry equipment or artillery tech. It's infantry because there's more infantry techs to choose from, so you get more benefit in the long run. And plus, everything uses infantry, from motorized to tanks to basic infantry. Everything uses small arms, so it just it pays for itself, really. I'm really tempted to dismantle our faction, you know. I'm really tempted. Okay, we've got a little bit of oil over now. Okay, now I can actually say, we'll bank three more. We are going to use those resources in the future, but as of right this second, we're not going to need it. Like a few more factories. Factories are good, right? Okay. Um, one you're producing on artillery pieces. Radio is good. 1937. Do we go for radio, tower, radio stations? I feel like radio only really benefits you, radar should I say, when you're like trying to land like an attack from France to Britain, or trying to land an attack on Japan, it, it feels like it only gets really used for those long drawn out air wars, do you know what, I don't even feel like I'm going to use it, I'm backing away boys, I'm not going to use that, so we need Panzer 3 and we can't do that until our national focus is complete, so for now we're just going to research something else. We don't need industry, it's 1937, 1937, go for the extraction. Do you know what, excavation, I just said, I called it extraction for some reason. Um, I've just thought. I've just thought for a second.
Do we even need it? So let's have a look. So, production of steel. Production of aluminium. Production of tungsten. So where does it actually show that my overall production has increased? It doesn't actually show that, does it? So, what this technology does is it increases our resource gain efficiency. Now, because there's no stats on any of the screens to actually show me, it makes me really skeptical whether it actually does. Factory vulnerability, production efficiency retention. Oh, we're just going to go for it anyway. There doesn't seem to be any stat for it, but... Hey, Soviet accepts German-Soviet treaty. We gain extra armor research bonus. Yay. Okay, we're going to go for the medium tank in a moment. Medium tanks. What we're going to try and do is beeline into medium tanks as quickly as can. And therefore we'll have loads of divisions that are medium tanks. And we'll get... We'll probably get Rommel. Who else to pick, really? Rommel, right? Rommel's good, right? Good old Rommel. Okay, grab these guys. 70 divisions. Nice. And why is this guy level 1? But all those are 2 and 3. There's another level 1 there as well. We're picking some bad recruits, gentlemen. I'm not happy with the recruits we have chosen. I am not happy. Okay, so is China at war with uh, Japan yet? No. Are we democratic yet? We do have more democratic support now. We have to do more democratic support than we have. Okay, do we go for mobilization? This is going to increase... Hang on a second. Oh, partial mobilization is as high as we can go at the moment. Okay. Um, extensive construction gives extra training time. Let's not do that. Do we need any of these? I think we're just going to sit on our political power. We're going to sit on our hands. We don't need the political power. There's nothing actually to gain. Well, I don't think there is anyway. Uh, we've done all those for 1937. Okay, we've got a bonus. Will that apply to this next one? Let's hope it does. Okay, artillery pieces. Definitely we need to do that. I really like to go for anti-tank, and I also like to go for artillery, and I think it might add that on to our infantry divisions. I think. Concentrated industry is next. Okay, where do we go from here? So we definitely need reliability, because that's going to be used for our tank divisions. I love field hospitals. Hospitals are so cool. Logistics reduces supply, which is cool, but I don't know how much requirement that is. This is really cool, because it has an extra bonus of 20 organization to our divisions. That's pretty big, you know, 20 organization. That's almost like an increase of some like 20 or 30% to some of our lower organization divisions. Hmm. Hmm. Anti-tank. This will increase hard attack by 15 and piercing by 75. Damn. You know what? Anti-tank it is. Grand battle plan, and we're going to go for point defense. See, we don't get the bonus. That'll break upsets me, that. I guess grand battle plan isn't the way forward. But we've, we've started now. We've dedicated ourselves. We're going to go all the way with it. Okay, what else can we research for? Are we a we slot behind? There we are. What can we go for? We can start working on our infantry tech. I don't really like to go for that in the early stages of the game because I don't feel like I use it as that much. So let's dedicate ourselves. We're definitely going to use engineers. Engineers are cool. They give that attack bonus over a lot of ground. Also movement bonus. Our recon's pretty cool too. Um... Yeah, I just like recon. I just like recons. Um, reliability is cool too. And field hospital is definitely... So those definitely two. Yes, yes. And then we just, we're torn between logistics companies and... Ah, uh, we're going to go logistics. So it's going to be all these three. Let's go for reliability now. Who's winning in the Civil War? What do we got? Purge in the Soviet Union. Air innovation. Rocketry. Okay. So... It looks like... Our Republican friends are winning. That's what it looks like. And there's a pocket here. We've encircled them there. Oh, well, they did. Oh, here we go. Marco Polo incident. Here we go, boys. The road to war has begun. Are they at war yet? Does that show if they're at war yet? No. Oh, oh, relations not looking good. Japan has a very bad opinion of China. Oh dear. 
Okay, we're not training for any divisions, and I'm cool with that. How many divisions do we actually need now I think about it? Another five, five, ten. Oh, we'll go for another 30 divisions. 30 divisions. And pop them in Berlin. And tell them to go to this guy. Um, Is this right? Yeah, that's good. Oh, why haven't we flipped to Democratic yet? We're at 49%. Oh, poor Adolf. He's not as popular as he once was. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, that is the end of the first episode. I am really sorry. These first episodes are always, I think, is a bit boring. Because all you have to do is sort out your, sort out your armies and organize them and get a bit of an idea what direction your country's going to go. I always think it's a bit boring. But anyway, thanks for sticking around. 30 minutes of fun times. Um, remember to like and also subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.